This is Dave from CheapHumidors.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use a variety of cigar cutters. We have a bullet cutter, cigar scissors, a regular guillotine cutter, a perfect cut guillotine cutter, and a V-cut. Standard guillotine cutters are perfect all-around cigar cutters. They pretty much come in two varieties. You have your dual or double blade cutter. As you can see when you open it up here, you literally have two blades, one on the right and one on the left. And then there's also a single blade cutter, which is less expensive. That's um, more of a, um, usually it has kind of a slanted um, blade in there to, uh, to cut through the, the cap of the cigar. Uh, I would prefer to use a double blade cutter. It's going to give you a better cut. It's going to cut from both sides of the cigar. These will fit a variety of ring gauges. Uh, they do max out usually at around 54, 58 ring gauge depending on the, the cutter you're buying. So if you do like to smoke larger ring gauge cigars, make sure you find a cutter that will accommodate or you might want to go to a cigar scissor or a punch. Now to use a guillotine cutter is, is very simple. Uh, what you're going to do is on your cigar, you'll notice that there is a kind of like a line around the cap of the cigar. And this this is what differentiates the cap from the main part of your cigar. You never want to cut more than that cap off, otherwise your cigar can unravel. So you're going to take you're going to take your cutter, basically open it up, place it as far into the cigar as you want, and snip. There's there's two ways you can do this. Um, some people prefer to take their cutter and put it on the table, and open it up and stick the cigar in like this and cut it so you get the same amount every single time. Um, but traditionally what you would do is you would open it up, put it in, make sure you have as much of the cap in as you want and give nice firm even pressure to cut the cigar. The, the more firm and more even the pressure the better your cut's going to be. This is a standard guillotine cutter. The punch cutter comes in a variety of styles. This specific one is what's known as a bullet cutter because it looks like a bullet, but they're all going to primarily work the same way. What you want to do is expose the blade at to on top. You can see it's a round blade. and This is one of the easier cutters to use. You'll take your cigar and you're just going to line the blade up with the back of the cigar make sure it's exactly where you want it and then using firm pressure you're just going to slowly rotate and twist that cigar and as you can see the cutter is cutting in nicely now you can go as deep as you want some people like to go all the way in some people just a little bit it doesn't really matter but all you're trying to do is make a nice hole in there if you want it a little bit bigger you can twist the, the uh, cutter like this to enlarge the hole. But the, the standard size hole will be great for most people. You're just going to simply pull it out. You can see we have our nice cut. And most of the punch cutters will retain the tobacco in the end. Not sure if you could see that there. And you simply push the little lever and all your tobacco comes out. So it's nice and clean. You can see that's a punch cutter, nice, clean, circular cut. Cigar scissors are perfect if you smoke uh, cigars that have large ring gauges. Those are the thicker cigars because it allows you to open up the scissor pretty much as wide as you, as you need to to get around even the largest cigar. Cigar scissors do need to be uh, cleaned regularly and, and it helps if you, if you do sharpen them. So you get nice, a nice clean cut. What you're going to want to do is on your cigar, if you can see the wrapper kind of has a, a line here that goes all the way around it, that's the cap. So you never want to cut more than the cap of your cigar. You never want to go down this far of your cigar. And most people prefer just, just to take a little bit off the top. It's really personal preference and, and over time you'll kind of find what you like best. So you're just going to take your cigar scissor, open it up as, as wide as you need to, and you're going to put it just on that cap portion. And you want to try to give it nice, firm, even pressure. 
like that. So you're going to just give nice firm even pressure. Sometimes you might have a little little straggling pieces that you, you need to cut off. Obviously that has to do with the sharpness of your blade, but pretty much it gives you a real nice smooth cut. It takes a nice bit of the uh, cap off and it's a perfect cutter if you are uh, someone that smokes larger ring gauge cigars. This is a V-cut cigar cutter. It's probably the least popular of all the cuts, um, but it is uh, people that like it like it a lot. And what it does is it's literally going to take a a small little notch out of your cigar. And if you look at this, you can see the blade in here. I don't know if it'll show up on camera really well, but it's the blade is kind of like, you know, almost like a half a triangle. So it's going to make a nice notch in there. Uh, this is, you know, there's always just going to be one blade in here, and it's, you know, it's very easy to use. What what you're going to do is uh, take your cigar. You don't have to worry about really taking off uh, more uh, of the cap than is necessary because this is going to give a pretty consistent cut, and it's not going to really go down this far. It's just going to take a little notch off the top. So you're going to open up your cutter, place your cigar inside. You want to make sure you, you have some nice even pressure on there so you have a consistent cut. You don't want to hold this too loosely or you're gonna, you know, your V-cut's gonna be all, all messed up. So give a nice, nice firm pressure and push the blade just until it touches the cigar. And then what you're gonna do is just again make sure everything's lined up how you like and nice firm even pressure. You're gonna cut the cigar. And as you can see, it made a nice little notch in there. Some people prefer to make a double notch, which would be a notch going the other direction. Again, that's personal preference if that's something you want to do. As I said, it's not the most popular type of cut, but it's certainly one that you should try uh, because it might be one that, that you do enjoy more than a traditional uh, guillotine cut or a, um, or a punch cut. This is a V cutter. This is a dual blade perfect cut cutter. They come in a, uh, a variety of names. Basically, some people call them perfectos, some people call them perfect cuts, and basically what this is is a standard guillotine cutter that, that you would normally see, such as, as this, but it doesn't have the uh, through and through. It has a back plate on it, and the reason for that back plate is, you can see here, you, you literally are going to get the exact same cut every single time. You're going to take the exact same amount off of your cigar every single time. So it's uh, therefore called the perfect cut. This is a double blade cutter, so it's going to apply pressure from, from both sides. And to use this, what you're going to do is take your cigar, and you'll notice on your cigar there's going to be kind of this line of tobacco um, kind of near the end of the cigar. What that is, is that's your cap. You never want to cut more than your cap off. You never want to go down to the body of your cigar or you'll have some unraveling. So you just want to take a little bit off the top, however much is your personal preference. If you're using a perfect cutter, uh, it's going to take the same amount uh, off each time and you really can't control it. You can use this one of two ways. You can put it on the countertop and, and open it up and use it. Or um, most people would take the cigar, open this up, and you're going to push it all the way up into that plate. So you want to make sure you have nice even pressure on the plate. You're going to close the blades just a little bit, just so you catch your cigar in there and you are just going to give it a nice firm pressure and cut your cigar. And this is the cap I was talking about. You can see it took the just, just a slice of it off and it has a nice cut. So that's going to give you the exact same cut every single time. Something to keep in mind, you can only really use um, this type of cutter with, uh, with most cigars. If you're going to use a cigar that has, you know, like a pointy tip at the end, it's, it's really not going to work. So you're, you're going to have to use this for, um, if, if those are the types of cigars you smoke, you're, you're not going to want to use this type of cutter. But uh, besides that, it, it really does make a perfect cut and it's really easy to use. This is the Perfect Cut Guillotine Cutter.